Leonard Coffer here for Uke Jams, and today we're going to be taking on a great American rock standard, Spinning Wheel, by Blood, Sweat, and Tears. And this song's relatively straightforward, except for the bridge or the chorus, depending on what you want to call it. Um, it's got some unusual chords in it, but to spend time focusing on the chord names will really miss the boat. So uh, let's go through the regular chords and then we'll talk about how we're going to play that bridge. So start with we've got a C7, we've got a D7, we've got an F, we've got a G7, and then in the bridge we've got a B flat, an A flat, and a G flat. And let's not get hung up on those chord names because that's the wrong way to think about this song. What we've got in that bridge is a single chord shape. And some people call this chord shape the F shape. Some people call it the G shape, or the second position G. Okay, let's take a look. Now, we can call this the F shape because we're playing basically an F. Some people call it the G shape for the second position G. But whatever you call it, we're going to use that one shape for the entire uh, bridge. So what we're going to do is think of playing your F, your regular F here. Think of playing your regular F and then just drop your index finger down over the nut. Okay, it's not doing anything, it's just resting there. Now, if we, that's an F. If we slide that up one fret, that's a G flat, or an F sharp, if you will. If we slide it up one more fret, that's our second position G chord. So we're barring the second fret, and then we're putting a middle finger on the second string from the bottom, and a ring finger on the top string. That's a G. Okay, we're not playing a G uh, in this song, but that would be a G. If we slide it up one fret, that's an A flat. If we slide it up two more frets, that's a B flat. So whether you think of this as a G shape, because it's the second position G chord, or whether you think of it as an F shape, because it has those two uh, strings that the F has, it doesn't really matter. When I was learning this song, I would say to myself, as I'm approaching the bridge, bar the fifth fret and then make an F. Whether you call it G shape or an F shape, again, doesn't matter. In my head, I was saying to myself, when I was just learning the song and didn't know these second position chords, I would say to myself, bar the fifth fret and then make an F with the fingers that are left over. Okay, so however you wanna get there. And in this song, that uh, B flat is preceded by a series of G of C sevens, sorry, C sevens, that you can just let ring. So while you're singing, ride a painted pony, let the spinning wheel spin. While you're singing that, you can be saying in your head, go to the fifth fret and make an F. So then the bridge starts at the fifth fret goes to the third fret, goes to the first fret, and then goes to the F. And then it does it over again. Fifth fret, third fret, first fret, F. Back up to the first fret, third fret, fifth fret. So it's just one chord shape moved up and down the neck. Let's try that again. We're gonna play a B flat, and then we're gonna run it down the neck and back up the neck. So we're starting with a C7, and you'll wanna practice this transition. Now we're gonna bar the fifth fret and make an F. Third fret. First fret, F, fifth fret, 
third fret, first fret, F, first fret, third fret, fifth fret. Alright, I'm going to put the words to that and then the counting will be a little more obvious and when to change the chord and which direction to go will be a little more obvious for those of you who know this song. By the painted pony, let the spinning wheel turn. Did you mind your reflecting sign on the straight and narrow highway? Would you mind your reflecting sign? Just let it shine within your mind and show you the color. Now, one last thing to note, when I came off that last B-flat, I went to a C7, okay? B-flat, C7. That's a big jump, sounds kind of unnatural. B-flat, C7. So I play the second position C7, which bars the third fret and puts the middle finger on the third string. We got a B-flat. And then a C7. Okay, so let's try that one more time with the C7 to start all the way to the final C7 at the end of the bridge. Ride a painted pony, let the spinning wheel turn. Did you find your directing sign on the great end? you mind a reflecting sign? Just let it shine within your mind and show you the colors that are real. Someone's waiting. All right. Now we've taken a look at that unusual chord progression on the bridge, which is just one chord shape run up and down the neck. So it takes a little bit of time to get under your belt, but it's actually quite simple in concept. So here we go. Spinning Wheel by David Clayton Thomas of Blood, Sweat and Tears. What goes up must come down. Someone's waiting 
just for you. Spinning wheel, spinning true. Drop all your troubles by the riverside. Got your painted pony on the spinning wheel ride. Okay, that was Spinning Wheel by Blood, Sweat, and Tears. This is Leonard Coffer for Uke Jams reminding you, as always, play every day. It's good for your brain.